Hi friends, how are you? Today's our topic ring versus radial circuit of sockets. Here we have a diagram. Here our MCB in the DB and these are the sockets. In ring circuit, we could connect maximum of 10 number of sockets in one circuit. And here we can see two independent wires are going from this MCB to the sockets. One through this way and another through this way. One wire is connected to the first socket, then second, third likewise. But the second wire is directly connected to the last socket. And here it is the radial circuit. In radial circuit, maximum allowable sockets in one circuit is 5. Here I already shown 4 number of sockets. Okay, it is the MCB. You can see only one conductor comes from the MCB to the sockets and in the ring circuit each socket of the circuit would get consistent electrical supply. If this circuit is cut here even though the sockets on both sides of this cut would get the consistent power supply. These two sockets got the power supply through here and these all sockets got the power supply through this way. But in radial circuit it is not the case. If a cut is occurred over here then these two sockets only got the power supply but these sockets would not get any power supply anymore. Next about the cost effectiveness. In ring circuit it is very cost effective. If these sockets require a 20 ampere of current then half of the 20 ampere would pass through this way and half pass through this way. That means the half of the 20 ampere is 10. So 10 ampere would pass through this way and 10 ampere through this way. It means we require less mm square of wire. Because of this reason, after the World War of 1942, the ring circuit emerged into the world. After the world war, there was a huge shortage of the material. So the scientists came up with this idea of ring circuit. If they could use this ring circuit, then there would be a requirement of half width of wire. Through this way, they could solve the shortage of material. Suppose these sockets require a 20 ampere of current, then that 20 ampere would flow only through this way. So we cannot make this wire half width. And the next is no overload burning occur in ring circuit. But in the radial circuit, the burning may occur. And one additional point I want to say you, in the ring circuit, we count a tin socket as two single socket outlet. It means that I already told you in one ring circuit it is allowed maximum 10 number of single socket outlet. So if we have twin socket I told you one twin socket is two single socket. So if we have five twin sockets then it would be counted as 10 single socket outlet. I hope you got some deep information about this. If you want more deep information, please visit my channel and subscribe it. Thanks for watching.